Oakham Citra Session Pile Out. Too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bites and Bows Reviews. I've got quite a special one today. This is from the Oakham Ales Brewery and it is their Citra Session IPA. Why is it special? It's because Oakham Ales were the first ones to use the Citra hops in the UK. I don't know whether you know, but Citra hops are an American invention and they are the basis for all the um, New England IPAs, the West Coast IPAs, and everything of that ilk. So, this is pretty sort of, you know, a pioneering type ale as far as the U UK is concerned. Um, Oakham Ales uh, do some stuff for, uh, who's it, Marks and Spencers, I think, and I was quite impressed with their stuff, so I decided to get some other stuff. I've seen this before in uh, Morrison's and it's been left on a shelf as if it's some sort of afterthought and to be honest the labels ain't that appealing but all that aside let's get this open and see what's going on before I do there is the cap um, I don't know if you can see it or not but yeah there you go there's the cap there is the label there is a supposed hop with a face on it there is the back if you want to pause it now and read all the spell on the back as I say this was um, I think it was 2009 when they first started using Citra in the UK um, and this is the first one that ever did that and it's a 500 milliliter bottle it is 4.6% in the volume the ingredients are water, malted barley hops, yeasts and that is it. Zesty Hoppy Citrus. Sounds promising. Let's get it open and let's savour the flavour. Well, yeah, I can get that straight away. Very. How can I put this? Very, I call it nettly type, you know, because hops are part of the stinging nettle family, or I think they call it poison ivy over in the States, but they're part of that um, family. That's what I'm getting initially when I open it. And there's some malt on there as well. Let's get it in the glass and see what's going on. It's a session IPA, as they say, so it should be reasonably drinkable. It's come straight out of the fridge, it's cold. Oh, yeah, very, very citrusy. And I'm assuming it's only got one hop variety in this, so it's going to be quite unique because a lot of brewers now, they use a variety of hops. This is just a single hop. There it is in the glass, one finger head, uh, golden colour, fair bit of carbonation, and let's get it down the hatch. Yeah, mad hops going on there with this. This is where this is where shipyard and all the other pseudo West Coast IPAs are going wrong because they've got it right. I 
there's just the right amount of malt in there to make it drinkable but that is super super hoppy full of grapefruit and bitter now that would go well with white meat fish and any sort of mild savoury dish very refreshing very drinkable quite clean as well the aftertaste that's coming off it is bitter grapefruit which you'd expect from a citra hopped based uh, pale ale um, is it my sort of favourite uh, not really certainly drinkable I could quite easily drink a couple of bottles of that I think after two I'll be struggling uh, what's it saying on the back uh, 2009 on his annual hop sourcing to the USA Oakham's brewing director John Bryan discovered the exceptional new hop variety Citra he rushed into the UK ensuring that Dykem Ales were the first UK brewery to beer with 100% Citra hops and maintaining Oakham's reputation for pioneering innovation. Light golden colour, bursting with citrus and tropical hop flavours and sensationally refreshing. Well that's a pretty good description because it is. It's got lots of hop, lots of grapefruit on that. Bitter grapefruit. If you're a fan of bitter pale ales, you're going to like this. Mm. Yeah, that's not bad. I'd give that a seven and a half. Um, I think one bottle, maybe two for me, would be my limit. It's just a little bit too bitter and dry. I know a lot of people go on about beers being crisp, but that is crisp. And the reason it's crisp is because it's got a dry, bitter arse end on it. And uh, yeah, it's clean, crisp, and refreshing in the true sense of the word. Lagers, I wouldn't say they're crisp, they're refreshing and clean, but they're not crisp. Crisp to me is like a dry sort of mouthfeel. That's got a very dry mouthfeel and bitter as well. But it's nice, all the same. I wouldn't drink this with a curry. It would taste rancid, but on its own, on a summer's day, with some like rice or a bit of white white meat, like chicken or fish or something like that, that'd be really nice. Dogs are going for it outside, but that's nice. I like that. So yeah, seven and a half out of ten, recommended. And they're not a bad brewery, this Oakham. Oakham Ales. I've tried a couple of their beers now. They've not let me down. So they're doing all right as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, recommended. And remember, beer is working class champagne. <laughs>